I'm Kylie. I'm Leandra. We're in the beaches. <laughs> I play a Fiore. I play a Vela. We love PRS. Yes, we do. Um, my favorite thing about it, honestly, is that it always stays in tune. My guitar tech and I, we love that. Um, I also love that you can switch from humbucker pickups to single coil. It has so much versatility. It's extremely lightweight. It's like really easy to like rock out on stage and not have it get in the way or hurt my shoulders. And yeah, like all around is like one of the most well-made guitars I've ever played, so big fan. Honestly, how lightweight it is. It's my favorite guitar to use while I'm spinning around. One of my new moves is to just really spin, especially during cigarette, and it is so lightweight. I love it. It almost feels like a toy, but an expensive toy that's really comfortable. <laughs> My favorite toy. <laughs> I find live this one just has like a little bit more beef to it, a little bit more grit. It really kind of cuts through. And again, having the ability to switch between the humbuckers and the single coil, like there's so much versatility to the sounds. So that's really fun. And we use all digital amps and like we have all of our pedal boards kind of like synced together. So having guitars that are really versatile is really important with when we perform live. It's just how punchy they are together. Yeah, I mean, exactly. specifically I can think of like on uh, What Doesn't Kill You Makes You Paranoid, where Absolutely. I mostly play a clean sound throughout that and you're strumming along. Yeah. Uh, and then we get into the chorus and I've got like super dirty sound and this just like, it makes it feel like the loudest and punchiest yeah. sound you've ever heard. And Absolutely. all I'm playing is like one note, just droning mm -hmm. and you're still getting the chords going. Yeah, chugging along. I think it, that's really important. Like this the guitar sounds really amazing by itself. And then when we do put like dirt or distortion or chorus or anything, just amplified even more. So mm -hmm. the original sound being so Pure is very important. I feel like we've also knocked gu guitars a couple times on yeah. stage and it takes a lot to make them go out of tune, which is lovely compared to some other guitar brands. They they really love to stay Where in you, tune. Especially also when you're performing outside, that's a big thing because the weather really can like affect the tuning and make it like, you know, drastically out of tune. A lot of the time, we don't have to worry about that too much as we're playing. Yeah. The necks are really comfortable and just like all the fretting, like this specific songs I play with me and me that yeah. are just like, I don't know, the hand shape is like this and I'm doing some picking and it's like always the, <laughs> the <claw. laughs> Eliza knows the claw comes out and it's a, it's my preferred guitar to go to. It just feels more comfortable than yeah. any other guitar I play. A fun tour story, very randomly in Australia, I jumped into the crowd to sing Kincaid and yeah. a, a girl pulled out a bulb of garlic for me. <laughs> for, yeah, that she just brought to the show for me, but she, I wasn't allowed to keep it because it was like, it's hard to get. Australia was wild. Yeah. You had a lot of very strange, they kind of went up in craziness each they're show. Little, they're a little wild there. A lot of girls were flashing me, but not which is fine. Not only flashing me though, like pressing their their bare chests to me or picking me up in the crowd yeah. and not letting me go. <laughs> um, we also just got to open up for the Rolling Stones and as we were walking to catering, we saw Keith and Patty having a cuddle on the back of a golf cart, which was uh, <laughs> definitely a pretty cool it's thing cute. to witness. Tips we have for up emerging up and coming bands is to, it sounds cheesy, but have fun with it. I love touring with my best friends. It's my favorite part of the job. Um, and if you love it, I just feel like stick with it and something good will always come from that. Absolutely. And practice. You definitely have to <laughs> practice a lot. Um, but yeah, it's, our job is like the best in the world and we have the most fun doing this. And Landis right. have fun, enjoy.